Tobias, meanwhile, had used his cat-like agility to get the evidence at Maggie's house. The cat is in it. Unfortunately, it was just as Maggie came home. Is there someone here? Tobias, concerned about Maggie's heightened sense of smell, set off to cloak himself in her scent. And Michael was at the vet's office. Justice is fine. Great. Although dressing him up like a seeing eye dog seems a little cruel. Cruel? Well, yeah, because he can't see. What are you talking about? Mr. Bluth, Justice is blind. Justice cannot be blind, Doc. He's got a handle and everything. Come on, boy. Maybe his peripheral isn't great, but he's been leading a blind woman around. I think she's been leading him around. But that would mean that, that Maggie isn't blind. In fact, Maggie wasn't blind, but had been pretending to be. Son of a bitch. Since she found it helpful in taking the LSATs. Or D, D places fourth. A? Finding it a tremendous boon to her professional life, Maggie continued the ruse. I submit into evidence this wine glass with the defendant's fingerprints. Don't worry, you're so ahead. <laughs> her ability to see, however, was currently proving a disadvantage. As she couldn't reveal to the man she recognized as Tobias that she knew he was there without betraying her secret. Tobias was finding her an uncannily difficult blind girl to outmaneuver. Their game of cat and mouse continued. Until Michael showed up to return Justice. Oh, Justice, what is it, boy? What is it? Is there some jackass in my bathrobe? Ah! 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 I can't stay! I the next day, the family gathered to welcome Buster home from the hospital. He's coming. What he's wearing is temporary. Please don't comment on it. Or salute him like that idiot guard down there did to him. Well, look who's back. Let's all say hello. Hello. Hi. And while you're at it, let's all give me a big hand. <laughs> <laughs> George Michael, get your uncle a bandage for his forehead. And while you're at it, uh, get to. Oh, my I guess God. this means you don't want to play gotcha nose with me. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Buster? Did you hurt yourself? Uh, hi, Joe. Oh, my God. What, what, what happened here? He's got no hand. Buster went swimming in the ocean, and according to him, a seal with a bow tie bit off his hand. Bow tie? It's merely the playful mutterings of the shock victim. <laughs> a seal would never prey on a human, unless, of course, it had acquired a taste for mammal blood. Job had recently dressed a seal in a bow tie and used him in a magic trick. When it failed, he You're released the, the seal world. into the ocean. You're not going to be hand-fed anymore. I mean, how the hell would a seal know how to tie a bow tie anyway? I can barely tie the yellow one that I wear in my act. This one had a yellow bow tie. Really? And later, Lucille could not contain her guilt any longer. I didn't. I prayed that God take anything he wanted from us so that Buster wouldn't have to go to war. Oh, Mom, after all these years, God's not going to take a call from you. I did this. I think that the seal with the yellow bow tie might be the one that I release into the sea after giving it the taste for mammal blood. Okay, you've got a better case than Mom does. Still, I could hunt down that seal. Well, they said if you retrieve Buster's hand, they might be able to do a transplant. At the very least, I could remove that incriminating bow tie. Hey, why aren't we going to the airport? Well, I want to go check out this house Dad asked you to burn down, see what he's hiding. I think that's it, sir. Buster, this guy speaks English. Oh, no, I swallowed a moth. 
Yeah, I'm sorry it took so long, but the Cheney Expressway was backed up all the way to Halliburton Drive. Let's see what all the mystery is about, huh? And that's when Michael found someone the U.S. government had been able to depose. Hello? Take my picture, take my picture. <laughs> Michael was in Iraq when he came across a familiar face. Are, 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 are you, uh... I am Saddam Hussein. A look-alike. Who are you? I'm Michael Bluth. These are my brothers, uh, Buster and, and Joe Bluth. Yeah. Bluth? Is he here to fix the air conditioning? Are, are you both Saddam Hussein look-alikes? Hardly. Invite them in. I am behaving like an O'Day look-alike. Uh, come on in. Come on in, guys. But, you know, I, I'd always heard that there were Saddam Hussein lookalikes. I guess I'm just a little surprised to see you all living here in, in, in one house that, that looks so similar to ours. Scarring that one dude's forehead's got to be a problem. Ah, uh, that's Ahmed. Never stop dish, watching the trial. We are all following it pretty closely. I understand. They put this guy away. You guys are out of a job, huh? Yes, and we wanted to keep the house for just one more season. I have a baby on the way. I do a better Saddam than this guy. My Saddam will show his teeth. Yes, to chew the scenery. And so Michael decided the least he could do was take a look at the air conditioning. But before he did, he decided to see if there was a secret room in this model home as well. And that's when Michael discovered the bombshell. Buster. Looks like a mid-range nuclear warhead. It has a range capacity of 4,000 to 5,000 nautical miles. You've got a pretty sophisticated knowledge of this technology. My god. An ice cream cone. Doesn't this make you want to have, well, an, ice cream cone? have an ice cream cone? You'll have plenty of time for ice cream in prison. Ice cream sandwiches. CIA undercover. CIA, of course. This explains why it was so easy to get you out of prison. Now, I knew that if he got out, he would lead us right to whatever your dad was hiding. They'd even created opportunities for this to happen. That is stupid. You're, you're, you're the one who didn't even shut the door. Come on. Yeah. You guys can run this place without us. As, as, as soon as you stop dropping your keys. Come on. They'd even staged something called an honor marathon. They thought he was sure to take advantage of. Come on. We've been looking for WMDs for years. WMDs? This thing is as fake as Ahmed's mustache. See? Yeah, look, it's a home fill. It's the company that makes the fake stuff we fill the model homes with. What the hell? Was it a recording device? Look, this is our stuff. OK, I got to call this in. Buster, please. Baker. No, it doesn't sound like CIA East. I'll check with CIA West. Did we bug a house in Mamoon? Yeah, we got some guy named George Blue to build houses down there so we could wire them. <sighs> we ran the whole operation through a British building company. And they contacted my dad for the plans. I, I can't believe it. After all of that, he wasn't lying. Look, we feel terrible because this is really our mistake. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to take you guys out. Take us out? What? Well, I can really go for some Italian. There is an olive garden in my mom. I think he means to shoot you in the head. But please, at least let him look at the air conditioning. Sir, if you're worried about us talking, we, we will not say a word. Well, don't be mad, but I haven't seen any of the pictures from my cell phone to my friend. Uh, no, 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 he does no, not know what he's saying. You have? Uh, well... Who knows who she sent them to? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hmm? Looks like you are a hero, Buster. We both are. Well. Okay, it looks like you got us. What can the US government do for you? We're gonna need some business class tickets home and direct flights. None of this stepping in Phoenix. And more importantly, maybe we can drop some of these treason charges against my father. And I do believe there is some mention of some ice cream. And so, with Operation Hot Brother a success, our American heroes left Iraq. Take Condoleezza Rice Lane. It's quicker. Mission accomplished. Michael had just discovered he left his son's girlfriend in Mexico. She's going to be fine. We just got to beat the sun. Hey, you think I'm happy about this? But hey, we are getting that trip together we wanted, though, huh? And look, two exits to Legoland. I just want to find Anne. That's my whole thing, too. And Job was still searching for a friend. So tonight? Well, I won't know officially until 8.01, but I figured if I 
blew myself early, I'd be nice and relaxed for a nine o'clock dinner reservation. <laughs> and if you'd like, I can make that reservation for... Looking for some company? I sure am. But what are you doing? You're gonna scare away the ice. Ice? Ice is out there? Where's Michael? He went back to Mexico. I knew he was trying to flee. Where the hell did he go? Ah! Whoa! Ice! What are you doing? George Luth, you're coming with me. That's not my father. Well, according to my photograph, it is. Oh, that's an honest mistake. Also, I think your knee is on my heart. He's my husband. My father is probably still in Mexico. I was just hoping to have sex with you. Why am I not blacking out? He set me up. Michael set me up. Hey, who wants to go to the hospital? Soon, the guys arrived in Mexico and split up to find Anne. Anne? Anne? Oh, thank God you're all right. Mr. Bluth? Anne? Oh, thank God you're all right. Uh, you are Anne, right? Yes, of course you are. Anne! It is! Oh, my. We got her. Okay, let's go ahead and load up in the truck. I think we're crashing some poor guy's wake. Michael, Michael, oh. Michael! Oh. Joel, what are you doing? Fleeing the country, you bastard! No! I'm still not fleeing, okay? I'm just here to pick up my son's girlfriend. She ran off the last time we were leaving. Actually, I, I was sitting right there the whole time. Yeah, way to plant, Ann. George Michael, uh, listen, why don't you and Plant just wait in the stair car? I'm gonna finish up here with Joe. I'm scared. Wait, that, that's his girlfriend? Yeah. What, is she funny or something? Don't, don't worry about it. Why do you keep thinking that I'm running away? I mean, it is kind of suspicious. He didn't even ask me to drive down here with you. Well, the only reason I didn't ask you to come with us is because of your chicken impression. Yeah, we sure did get in a lot of trouble for that last time, didn't we? Oh, yeah. I was all, go, 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 Get off of me. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's American. Americano, eh? Just the luck of me. Gene Parmesan, how you doing? Gene, what the hell are you doing? Well, your mother sent me to find you. She was worried you were up to something. Hey, Dad. Right. You remember Franklin? Hey, Franklin. My man, how about some time? Uh-oh. But Franklin didn't want a kiss at all. Job had soaked the puppet's mouth in ether, and soon Job was on his way to dump his father on the police station steps. Do you forgive me? And he decided to let himself off the hook using his ventriloquist skills. I cherish you, Job. Come here and give me a kiss. I'm driving, Dad. No! It was weird. And that's when Job noticed the CD and card that he'd made for Michael. It's not even open. Michael. Michael prepared to sign Michael the affidavit, maintaining he had no, no idea, idea where his father, father was. And you have not been in contact with him. Are you prepared to do that? Officers! Michael, these men are here just a little bit early because we have photographic evidence which discredits the affidavit you just signed. Are those balls? Because the last time we were here, they were balls. These are not balls. This was taken with a traffic camera. It shows you in your car with your father within the last 24 hours. Oh. I wish they were balls. Michael was in police custody after a photo of him helping his father escape Joe, had turned what's going up. On? See that picture? That's you, right? I mean, what were you holding up a photo of me or something? What was of course it? you don't recognize it. It's the card from the CD that you didn't even bother to open. You found that, did you? Right between the gearbox and the pullback from aircraft lever. So this is how you repay me for how I repay you? I actually did not get a chance to listen to it yet. I'm sorry. Probably should have told you, but I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, you're so sensitive. Just like when you whipped up those tears talking about how much you loved it. Look, I will get a chance to listen to it, I promise, but I'm in a lot of trouble here. Where is Dad? I've got him stashed away somewhere safe now. Well, get him, quickly, okay? Otherwise, I'm gonna be stuck in here. Good! I hope you rot in here! What are you talking about? Now, guess what else? Dad kissed me. How? He looked pretty unconscious in that picture. I didn't say he was totally into it. Sorry. I know that you were excited about it, but, uh, you know, in the secular world, I feel like they're a bit young. You know, I, I didn't want to say anything in front of Terry, 
But I agree. I mean, perhaps there's someone else they're meant to meet. Well, let's, let's just say that, that in the secular world, one finds oneself with their fair share of temptations. Not that anyone would ever ask. Take me, take me to Mrs. your Beal. secular world. Hey, hey, listen. You know what, I can't believe my dad. First he's saying I need to respect the sanctity of marriage, and then he's making out with her on the balcony. I thought he didn't even like Anne. No, no, Mrs. Veal. Well, you know what else he's not gonna like? I'm getting pre-engaged. God, that's so romantic. The hell with him. Take it. Take the sacred ring. N not the snake that doesn't come off. Michael had just been kissed by the mother of his son's girlfriend. Oh my god! Listen, don't do this, don't do this. I can't believe we're making love. What are you talking about? We're not making love. I want to please you secularly. We're not going to do this. But you kept telling me how beautiful I was. I was surprised because of Anne. Well, Why because of Anne? Because of Anne Old Wives' Tale. Oh, I'm so ashamed. Uh, Miss, Mrs. Veal. Jolly news, Governor! Young Master's proposing. George Michael? I told him not to. He said he wouldn't. Well, this was before he saw you pounding that sweet piece of veal. He saw that? Where is he? Oh, he left with Lady Lindsay. Tobias, where are they? It is me. It's Tobias. Ah! Uh, what happened? Oh, uh, Joe made me kiss Franklin, and I think my father was here. Maybe he still is. Well, shut up. What do you mean he was here? I think he was dragging my mother out with Job. Oh, you shut up. What's going on? We're trying to figure that out. Apparently, pop-up kidnapped Gangi, and I have no idea where George Michael is or Lindsay. I just saw them drive off. They're going to go look for Bland. Who's the hottie? This is Anne's mother. Her? Does she look old enough to play Topher Grace's mom? Where did you say Anne was? At the chapel. Yeah, we got to get down there. My son's going to pre-propose to your daughter. Fortunately, Tobias had rented a car to maintain his ruse. I had this shipped over from Blackstool. It's what I used to drive the Roger Moles about. And, and Lucille awoke half in the bag. What am I doing in a Nordstrom bag? It's me. I'm, I'm taking you to renew our vows. The first. Ah, uh, Dad. We make love. The partition doesn't go all the way up, remember? No. No. After your vows, I want to know you won't run out on me again. I need to know you're in it for keeps. Just let me see him. Seriously, Dad, the radio doesn't work either. George? Joe braced his parents to the church, passing George Michael and Lindsay, who were soon followed by Mrs. Featherbottom. No, oh, mercy me. I keep forgetting I'm in the colonies. Buster was talking to the police when Oscar if found a clue. They must be going to this church. He's going to renew his vows. He's my twin brother. I know how he thinks. They're at the Church of the Good Shepherd. And at the chapel, Pastor Veal was officiating. Love and honor your spirit and flesh. First, the flesh. I will caress and tweak. I will nibble and bite. I will blow alternatingly hot and cool. Oh, man. I can't wait to get married. I have pop-up in the attic. What? The mere fact that you call making love pop-up tells me you're not ready. The speeches we heard today are nothing more than words. But I will prove that I love my father more than anybody. Buster! As you can see, this is a normal coffin. Take me halfway around. I will become my dead father's body as I am lowered into his grave. All right, spin it back around. Dead father? Is, is he dead? Is dad's dead? Just keep it together, Buster, and spin this back around. Oh my god! The cord! The cord! Oh. Oh. Something's gone wrong. Michael noticed something in the dirt. Glisten. And suddenly he realized what his son meant when he said he had Pop Pop in the attic. Dad? Dad? How you doing, Michael? Uh, hey, but your father's alive. Michael, he's, he's, 
He's alive. How could you do this to us? Well, you see, I had no choice. Uh, my brother is with Lucille, you see. She's destroying the family. You put the entire business in peril, you escape from prison, and then you make us all think that you've died? I, I'm an innocent man, Michael. I'm, 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 I'm a patsy. I, I signed some documents. I, I thought they were going to kill me. Don't, don't turn me in, OK? Can you help me out? And for a moment, Michael was conflicted. Well, I'm not going to let you stay here and make my son an accomplice, OK? I'm sorry. I'm not going to let you spread your guilt to him. Ice, my mother has something to tell you. I find you very attractive. And she cleans up nice, too. Trust me. Well, I think I'm finally off the clock. I'm out of here, right? Hi. Dad's alive. He's hiding in the attic. He's upstairs? He's oh, my God. What? He's gone. Stack the chafing dishes outside by the mailbox. I'm on the job. I can't seem to give this away. Oh, I can't believe it. And I just found the will. Can you explain to me what's going on? Thanks, Mikey. Yeah, well, now it's our secret. Lindsay showed up at the Christmas party. Unfortunately, she didn't realize that the employees had been threatened against flirting. Oh, hello, Ted. Oh, if you're worried about my husband, it's fine. He's no bigger than a Cub Scout. You could take him. And you could certainly take me. This has been pleasant and professional. Good luck in the coming business year. You guys stealing stuff on job suit. Shh, go away, you're gonna ruin it. Lindsay, how's the party? It is the worst Christmas party I've ever been to in my life. Yeah, watch this. Yep, like my last 10 years. And my daughter won't give me the time of day. That was your party. Oh, it was, it was good. They're kind of religious, Anne's family. So it was, yeah, it was just kind of. The word George Michael was searching for was creepy. Jesus, fly bet mine. Hey, I was talking to the sound guy and he said he's got this karaoke thing. Yeah, let's do it. Put the first song on in the book. Okay. Okay? Hey, Dad. Thanks very much. Hey, hey, I thought you were at your party. No, no, they said I could leave for the second hour of silent prayer. But Ann and I do have to go back, so I should, I should go soon. Uncle Michael. Okay, I'll be right there. Sorry, I gotta go do this. I'll be right back. And Michael sang a duet with his niece. Her tide gonna grab some afternoon delight. My daughter doesn't need me. Neither does my dad. Had George Michael and Lindsay stayed, they might have discovered what Michael and Maybe did. That afternoon delight was more adult themed than its innocent melody would have you believe. And the thought of loving you is getting so exciting. Skyrockets in the light. Hang on, maybe. Afternoon delight. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna go get some more punch because it is toast time, okay? No, 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 it'll look worse. Go that way. Drug delivery. You wanted some marijuana? No, uh, not me. My nephew did. Show me the money. Show us the pot. I got it right here. Oh my god. Nice, right? Okay, you can put your shirt down, Derek. Just give him the stuff. So, we have a deal. We have a deal. He's ruining his life! Please Stop! Officer, free! Free! What? Oh, no! It's the cops! Oh! Easy. And a construction worker! Uh, Let's get this party started. Aren't you guys gonna cuff him? You want a handcuff? All right. George Michael. Hope you learned your lesson, pal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But it wasn't for me. And who is it for? Who? Give me a name. Okay, it was for me. Yeah. I was gonna smoke the marijuana like a cigarette. Well, now you're looking at a nice big fat punishment. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh. 
What are you doing here? The, uh, the boy was looking out for me. What? It, it's for my girlfriend. She's sick. Why don't you just wait it out? She's gonna be gone soon. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Why are you hitting yourself? 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 Are you hitting yourself? Are you hitting yourself? Hey, what's the matter with you? Easy. Is that true? Why didn't you tell me this? Hey, what are you guys doing? We got your signal. You flashed the lights. You got the drugs. You got the money? No, no. No, 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 no. no. We're all good. You just want the money. You want to make this ugly? We were just teaching the young fellow a lesson. Yeah. We don't want any trouble with you, Governor. Thanks very Not much. You know who you're dealing with? Drop the boxes. Put your hands in the air. What is this? No, we had nothing to do with this. You set us up! No, no, these are just strippers! Look how hot they are! Everybody take a breath! came off and landed on the dock. Michael realized that his father had once again taught him an elaborate lesson. And that's why you don't teach lessons to your son. How could you do that to me? Michael had just found out his sister was adopted. And the next morning, he awoke to a worse surprise. Oh, come on. Well, I can't sleep in the same room as her. <sighs> she wants out of this marriage, fine. I'm afraid I'm going to have to sell the Bluth shares and move on. You can't do that. They're my shares. No, I mean, you can't spoon me like that. We need a new venue for the shareholders' party, and it cannot be a boat. Now, if you can find something, maybe I can fudge the books, get you a Bluth company salary, huh? Maybe call you an events coordinator? Can we just lay here for a second while I think about it? Michael was making compromises all over the place. Sure. I'll do it. Sounds great. Soon, George Michael went to Anne's to try to win her back. But her Uncle Paul told him that Anne had moved in with her boyfriend. He also mentioned that we all only had three more weeks on Earth and that fossils were just something the Jews buried in 1924. And so, feeling that he couldn't go home, George Michael decided to seek out his own creepy uncle. And Michael confronted his mother about the adoption. Look, she was better off with us. He wanted to call her Nellie. Of course. Lindsay is a Nellie from the photo. Why didn't you just tell people that she was adopted? Adopting a child we didn't want just to stick it to a competitor? Oh, that'd make us look great. You're right, Mom. People would have twisted that story to make it look bad. I don't see what the big deal is. We loved her just as much as any of you normal kids. More than Job. The big deal, Mom, is that the family is falling apart. They're trying to sell their stock, and I can't promise you that I can keep everyone together until the party. We'll pay them off. We'll call it an accrued cash dividend, but they won't get their money until they sign a document at the party promising not to sell for 10 years. So it's embezzlement, bribery, and conspiracy. And a whole lot of love. All right, and perjury. Oh, Michael. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh. I booked the perfect location and some wonderful performers for the party. We're having it at the Queen Mary. <gasps> Queen Mary? That's a ship. Oh, no, no, no. It's a chain of popular nightclubs. Although I haven't been to this particular location. It's on the Long Beach Harbor. That's the ship. Buster, don't worry about it. They've actually welded it to the dock. Hmm. Although, perhaps I should call the hot cops and tell them to come up with something more nautically themed. Hot sailors. Better yet? Hot sea. I like hot sailors. Mm, me too. And George Michael was about to come across a hot seaman of his yeah. own. What are you doing here? How'd you find me? My dad said that you were living down here with your girlfriend. You know about her? Who? And her? Job had been dating Anne since he awarded her third place in an inner beauty pageant. Since then, Anne and her friends tried to teach Job about the Holy Trinity. What? I thought that's what all you guys lived for. While Job debased everything they believed in. What about you? You game? It's really not that big of a deal, George Michael. I'm 18 now, and besides, we really haven't even done anything. Practically nothing. But what are you going to do? The girl obviously needs a man. And that's when George Michael became one. Anne was upset. 